Hi, this is Zachary Ball with Omnis Technologies. Continuing our CTERRA tutorials, uh, the last video was our unboxing and the hard drive install. At this point, we're actually got the device plugged in and we're gonna go ahead and give it a password and we're gonna work through on how to set up a RAID 1 with the existing drives that we installed. So this is the screen that you're gonna see the first time you come to the device. The device does pick up DHCP addresses. It doesn't have a built-in one. So it kind of makes it a little bit easier to get to. That way you don't have to set your workstation or a laptop, you know, with a different IP other than your regular subnet. Let's go ahead and give this a password, if I can think of a good one. Go ahead and hit save. Generally in the host name, we will put either an abbreviation of the client or some other abbreviation that we understand. Now, this is the actual portal that goes to our portal. This is how we connect it to the centralized administration that we do. So on this tech.cterraportal.com. The main thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to set up the local storage arrays. So under the storage arrays tab, we're going to do new. Now it recognizes the two drives that we just put in. We're going to go ahead and join, click both of these. Next, we're going to do a RAID 1, a mirrored, and we're going to stick with a 64K by default. Next, and I usually just do RAID 1 with the name. Very simple, very straightforward. And we always stick with the default on this, the snapshot capsule, the NAS. The, uh, we always obviously use as much space as we can, 3.64 out of the four terabytes. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next on this. Now we do have the option to encrypt the drives if we like. In this particular case, I'm not gonna do that there doesn't seem to really be a need for the client. We're just gonna go ahead and call this the logical volume, volume one, next, and then finish. From there, we're gonna go ahead to the snapshots. Now, this is the other important thing when you're setting up a Sutera, we have to set up snapshots. Snapshots are what give you the redundancy in your data. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and do scheduled snapshots. And we're gonna do daily. Now this particular client, Monday through Friday, six to five every day. So we can do a snapshot time generally later because I usually have the agents running the backups from the machines to the Citerra itself earlier in the afternoon and then pushing the snapshots off to the cloud after that. So we're gonna pick a little bit of a later time and this, this can be adjusted. It doesn't have to be set in stone. So we'll just set for 11, 11 p.m. <laughs> And then this is where the retention policy. So this is where it gets kind of nice. Depending upon how much data they go through, we can just stay with the default, retain all snapshots for at least 24, 24 hours, retain daily snapshots for seven days, weekly for three weeks. We're gonna go with that for right now. So we're gonna go ahead and hit finish. And that will set up the snapshots taking place after the agents run the backups earlier in the afternoon then the snapshots will take place and then send that off site and keep a local copy.